Yeah, good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a two real Tuesdays, man. And hey, your girl Young say is back with Act Two. Act Two. She got Texas holding. But this time, she saying don't hold it. Now, I don't think y'all understand the level what y'all say on right now. I don't think y'all understand. But those who see know what's going on right now, John. On some real shit. It's about to get real serious. Texas no hold em. Uh-oh. I don't think y'all understand, man. Y'all don't understand. And to all her haters that don't want to hear what she got to say, y'all just don't listen. Close your ears up. But those of us who understand and is on cold and understand what's going on right now, look, man, you better buy that goddamn Act 2 and listen. Because she coming back around the mountain when she comes. Let's go, y'all say, man. I'm fucking with it, boy. You hear me? You hear me? I am fucking with it. Let's go. Cause she back, Jack. And all the haters. Hey, man. You gonna have to sit long for this ride. Cause it's gonna be another ride. Lead that. Another ride. She about to give you another ride, Jack. And I know the visual's gonna be on point. But more importantly, the message is going to be on point if you're paying attention. But you gotta be paying attention. You gotta be a student. You gotta learn to listen. Pay attention. Instead of criticizing and being a hater, pay attention. Notice the message in, in the music, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's how, believe it or not, that's how slavery, uh uh, that's how a lot of slaves escaped by listening to the music the message in the music this is the history and history of hip-hop truthfully it didn't just start in a state with some goddamn mixed tables and turntables no hip-hop started where the slaves was hipping each other to hop out of goddamn slavery now Take that in your peace pipe and smoke it. Whatever you want to do with it, I don't give a damn. But, we're going to tell the truth on this channel. Okay, so that's just a little hip-hop for real history and history, which came from the South. Now, I know what you're going to say. Oh, you're saying it because you're from the South. You're Southern, this, Southern, that y'all think y'all. Well, hey, man, it's the truth. If you look at the link in it, look at the truth. Look at the truth. I implore you, look at the truth of it. You ain't gotta take my word. Follow it back. Shit, a lot of American uh, 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 music and culture came from the South. That's a fact. Country blues, I ain't going into it anyway. It stops right there. But anyway, what I did want to come on here and say is. Your boy, your boy, your boy, CB is on the scene in the city today. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of us at the festivities tonight. You know, CB is back with the Tycoon Music Fest in Atlanta tonight. Let's go, CB. Another great entertainer. You dig? And I'm pretty sure... He's going to have his time at the Super Bowl one day. Uh, we can't wait to see it because, you know, at one time they was calling this boy uh, the next Michael Jackson. So, hey. And speaking of Michael Jackson, glad I brought that up. Now, I don't know who the fuck sold Michael Jackson's goddamn uh, 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 catalog. I don't know who did it, you know. And listen. I, I, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not uh, his family, you know, but at the same time, I do find it difficult for us to hold on to our legacy without selling out, without selling this shit. 
you know, it's, 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 and it's, and it's, it's, listen, man, it's disappointing to me because clear people can hold on to their shit for hundreds of years, bro, but we selling the damn publishing. That's a slap in the face because Michael Jackson one time owned half of goddamn Sony. Now, y'all selling it back to him? The fuck? I'm confused. Just help me out. You know, I, I, I'm confused, bro. I, I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. There's no way in the world I would have sold his catalog. I would have kept that shit forever. That shit would have lived in my family forever. But that's just me. Long live the goat. I'm disappointed, though, that they sold that shit, though. Whoever made that decision, that was fucked up. That's a fucked up decision to make for a goat and a legend. And it's Black History Month. It's like a slap in the face again. Again. A slap in the face from the enemy. From the op. His opposition slapped in the face. Black History Month. Buying his shit back that he bought, that he had owned from them. Anyway. Long live the goat. MJJ forever. Greatest entertainer ever. Y'all be easy, man. Too real, too easy, man. Let's go, CB. Let's get it.